I'm Gavin Hurley and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. We're here in Port Phillip Bay, we've just uh, dropped in at Morty Alec uh, and we're around the Ricketts Point area, um, not far from Black Rock. Today we're out here chasing salmon which um, is just a great species to get on, especially on fly. Uh, they're such a, a real solid fighting fish and um, around this time of year, around Easter, you can get really good schools that will come in from the ocean and we target them in here. So uh, you've got to get up early. <coughs> As you can see in the background, the sun's just coming up and uh, I don't like getting up early, but it's worth it for these salmon. So it's, a, it's about looking for the birds. Always pays to have a, like a set of binoculars uh, so you can look for the birds working on the little bait fish because that's what the salmon are here to eat. So uh, we're looking for those or sometimes the birds aren't even uh, awake yet and the fish will just be on them. So you're looking at disturbances on the water. So it's a matter of cruising around till you can find these schools and hopefully we'll be able to show you what salmon fishing on the fly is all about. So what you can see there on the sounder is you've got, well the sounder's almost black from these little white bait that um, have all balled up in here. So uh, what you've got to do, we need the fish to have found them. Um, they could well be right down the bottom because the school's so thick, we need the fish to come up to the top because it's quite deep here, you've got 16 metres of water. We need the salmon right on top, so we need the schools to thin out a bit, break up and the fish to really attack them. At the moment there's a lot of birds sitting on the top of the water waiting for the schools to be right on the top. The gannets are diving in but uh, we need the, uh, the salmon to be, to be right on them as well and right up the top. And then we can put a fly in front of them and uh, show you what these salmon are really like. We 
been out here for a couple of hours and we found the birds and the bait fish, but we haven't really come across any, uh, well, feeding salmon at the moment. There's a lot of water out here, so um, instead of just blind flogging with your fly, um, we've set a couple of trolling lines out with some lures on it. And it's a good way to pick up where the, the salmon schools are gonna be, and then we can concentrate our cast with our fly into those areas. So uh, a couple of lures out the back, find out where the fish are, and then we'll uh, get a couple on the fly. Well, it's been pretty hard going this morning, and uh, we've just been moving around a bit, a little bit of blind casting, and uh, we've come onto a little patch of uh, just little salmon, which is still good fun. Um, but as you can see, he's just a, just a little fella. But uh, there's, there's enough of them there that could keep you amused for a, a little bit of time there. So uh, great fish. Obviously we're after a lot bigger ones than that one, but um, if that's all there is at the minute, we'll catch them until we can get a few bigger ones. Let's get that fly out. And there you go. So we've got a nice little fish there and uh, we'll get him back in, find one a bit bigger. This is uh, what we call my little mate. <laughs> That's, That's, That's it, just another little salmon there, which is good. Once you uh, you come across, you know, a, like a, a salmon, you, you get a good hook up and that, you, chances are you can catch a lot of them because they're gonna be in, in relatively big schools. So concentrate your casts and um, your boat drifts along that area and uh, that's when you're gonna come up against these. Again, they're just little fish, but um, we're, we're hoping uh, there's going to be some bigger ones mixed in amongst them. But still a good little fish. I mean, that's the beauty of, of getting them on the fly. It's just a, just a single, single hook. Just get that out, pop me back in, and he's good to go again. So uh, you haven't harmed the fish in any way, and yeah, plenty of room for him to grow up again. So. Um, We'll get another cast out there, and again, concentrate in, in the same areas, because that's where the fish are gonna be, and uh, you've got more chance of them getting on the end of your fly. We'll show you some flies a little bit later, but this is probably my favorite, little mylar minnow, and it imitates like a white bait, which is what these fish are feeding on. So, um, there's a lovely bit of uh, reflection there and a bit of sparkle, lovely tail action, and that's uh, what the fish are eating. It's probably very similar, but slightly different as well, which is what you need when there's gonna be a million white bait out there. We want them to see ours and grab ours. So, uh, a great fly, my personal favorite for salmon.